Sun is coming up, are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow Your will is my law, I'ma let you be the boss Cause I'm going you go Hi everybody! Hiya! And welcome back to our channel Today we have a wee bit of a video about Florida again um, Because at this point in time we are 28 days 28 days to countdown Mm. Cannot wait, we're so excited. So, Robert, would you like to show the people your t shirt? Yeah, well, I did think your Marvel was Disney, but apparently not in America. Well, in, in Florida. Yeah. Yes, he was getting confused. That was doing good, guys. It's okay. Mm. <laughs> he's, he's at the wrong park. Yeah, hashtag wrong park. <laughs> I'm talking about parks. Today we want to talk about one of the most iconic um, Disney parks, oh, which is favorites. the Magic Kingdom. Yes. So in today's video, we're going to cover a, a few different things. Um, but first of all, should we talk about our favourite way to get from the ticket and transportation centre actually into the park? Yeah, so we we really enjoy getting the ferry because um, you can. You're going to the park and it's very scenic and it's uh -huh. good across, Yes, across the lake yeah. and you get to see um, like the castle, resort. the contemporary resort, the Polynesian, the Grand Floridian. Um, there's so much to see and one of the main things you get to see is... Is the castle, the mm -hmm. Cinderella castle which is fun fact, um, it's 189 feet. Because if, Why? It was, if it was any higher, due to Florida laws, they, would, they had to put a bright red beacon on the top of it. And nobody wants a bright red beacon place. on top of their castle, do they? No. So yes, we love to do that. And then we go in, there's nothing better than walking down Main Street, is it not? No, uh, it's, it's really fun. Uh -huh. uh, going into all the shops. Yeah. Uh, old fashioned Main Street, yes. Eh? Mm -hmm. um, so, when was when was the Magic Kingdom built again? Uh, so, well, it was opened in 1971 and it only cost $3.50 to get I in. wish it still cost that now. I know. Guys, you're going to have to excuse us if we're looking down a wee bit. Yeah. Um, we've got some notes so that we get the facts right because we, obviously we like telling fun facts and stuff like that and things that are helpful, but we've got them written down. Because, well, Robert's a bit of a geek as well, aren't you? So you love, you love yeah. like, geeky facts and stuff. So, obviously, he has got some written down so he can get, obviously, um, them correct for yourselves. It's a huge park. It's 107 acres. Mm -hmm. uh, which is larger in Disneyland, but not as large as Epcot. Yes. I think even um, Animal Kingdom is bigger as well, from what I remember. Hey, I would need to check that out. I'll, oh, I'll, what? I'll, fun. I'll, oh. I'll get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so although it's probably going to be one of the most crowded parks and one of the most popular parks, it's actually not the biggest park. No. Nope. Talk a bit about our favourite rides here yep. in the Magic Kingdom. And we can maybe talk a wee bit about um, any facts that we know about them when we're doing that. Yeah. Um, so, uh, we've got we've chosen five rides each um, in the Magic Kingdom as our favourite rides, and I am going to start with my fifth favourite ride, which is Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Um, fun fact about this one, just from a personal point of view, when we went in 2017 in Hurricane Irma, uh -huh. um, we basically walked on it, and I got one of those. I don't know if you still get them now, but there was like a red ticket that they gave you and that helped the cast members see how long the queue line was because you got it at the start and then you hand you handed it to the cast member at the end. And that's the one and only time I've ever had that done for me. I felt very special. I took there lots of go. pictures. There you go, yeah. Yes. What's your fifth, fifth, fifth favourite one? I can't even speak. I like Splash Mountain. Even though I can't swim, guys, but I just really enjoy it. It's a fun ride. It's a fun ride, uh, isn't it? No. And they sing zippity doo da, zippity day, yeah. my oh my oh. That's why I've never seen him. X Factor America's Got Talent, guys. <laughs> yes. My next uh, one on my list, the fourth favourite one, 
is the people mover or the Tomorrowland Transit Authority yeah. people mover to give it its Sunday title. Well, that was originally named after Walt Disney. He used to have W E D in the name. Uh huh. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. There you See, go, geek fact. <laughs> so yeah, I love that. There's nothing better than going up around it and um, just kind of watching the world go by. Um, and you'll get to see loads of different bits in Tomorrowland, views of the castle, yeah. different stuff. It's amazing. I wasn't clear about it. Um, <laughs> this is start. hilarious. Um, I just thought it was a baby raid, guys. Like, I'm not going on the baby raid. I'm manly. <laughs> but when I went on it, I was like, this is quite good. And now you always want to go on it. Yeah, it's one of the first times. ones we go on, actually. Yeah, we love going on the People Mover. What is your fourth favourite ride, Robert? Uh, so it's a castle of progress, uh, and it's it's not it's not too exciting, but it's good. To, it's good for the snooze. It's one of those ones you don't know when it's going to close, mm -hmm. so you may as well do it. And uh, it's quite old actually because it was originally in the nineteen sixty four World Fair. So that's another fun fact for you. You've got all the facts today, exactly. right? My next one is Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, I absolutely love this ride. However, however, mic drop moment. Pirates of the Caribbean at the Magic Kingdom is not as good as Pirates of the Caribbean in Disneyland Paris. No, oh, I think it's more kind of drops and stuff. Disneyland yeah, Paris, we don't want to spoil it for those that have not been to Disneyland Paris, no. though. But you don't, you don't know where the drops will be, so. If you don't go to Disneyland Paris or you've been, <laughs> just keep an eye on it. <laughs> yes. What's, what's yours? Uh, mine's actually the same. Uh, I really enjoy that ride and it's quite hilarious actually because it's a bit of a water ride for Sarah. She I have. always get salt! <laughs> like, what is that about? Oh, I love it. I don't find it fair and I've been watching some recent videos of it and apparently see the cannonball bits and uh -huh. stuff like that and different things. Um, well, I've been watching um, Paul and Cheryl from that UK Disney couple and Paul seems to get salt a lot on it, the same as me, but he says that um, they've turned some of the water features, as it were, up, like the splashes and stuff up, but we'll find out in 27, 28 days or so, yeah, maybe will. maybe closer to 30 by the time yeah. we get to, to there. Yeah, I'll ask, I'll ask uh, cast members if you can... If we can turn it up on our screen. <laughs> okay, right. Number two for Sarah. is Space Mountain. Yeah. Um, Space Mountain in um, Disney in Disneyland Paris is much better again. Another mic drop moment. Um, but I still love Space Mountain. Um, it is probably two very different rides actually as well. Yeah. Um, the Space Mountain in um, Walt Disney World is like single rides, so you're one behind the other um, as well. And it's a different kind of... I can't enjoy it. Uh, it's, uh, less, it's less secure as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lap bar. There's no like loops or anything like that, but it's quite kind of yeah. rickety, would you say? Like yeah, bumpy? I quite like it. But it's really, really good. We do yeah. really, really enjoy but, that. And it seems as though you're going quite fast because of the dark and the lights and everything. But I don't think you're really going that fast. One of the main reasons why it's rickety is probably because uh, it was actually a uh, Magic Kingdom before it made it to Disneyland and Anaheim. Oh, I see. Maybe. Uh, well, we've never been to Anaheim. Uh, That's next on the list. Opened in 1975 with some astronauts at the <laughs> opening. So. That's before I was even born as well. Yeah, well you know. <laughs> <laughs> right, what's your number two? Uh, my number two is the Haunted Mansion. I really love that ride. Uh, it's just it's good with all the effects and all that. Mm -hmm. But what I didn't know was that there was a hearse. Uh, but, just outside it? Yeah, as part of the setup kind of thing. And that was actually in a John Wayne film, so that was another fun fact, eh? He's got all the facts. <laughs> we need to give him some stars for every fact that he... Yeah, so... <laughs> let me know in the comments below what facts you really enjoy and that one <laughs> you didn't. 
Or if you want more of Robert's fun facts. Yeah, I could do a separate um, one. I could do it. <laughs> and we're going to go with our favourite ride at the Magic Kingdom, which is... Yeah, so it's big fun to mount for both of us. It's a really... You can't beat that. It's amazing. One of the... It's one of the original roller coasters, isn't it? Oh, ah, yeah. It's just so much fun. Um, it's... Oh, I mean, you just have to go on it. It's not scary at all. Like, it really isn't scary. No. I mean, it's quite fast as well, I would say. Yeah. But it's just a lot of fun. Um, and I've not done this yet, but I'm going to aim to is be on Big Thunder Mountain at the fireworks. That's one of my things I would like to do because apparently it's amazing. We'll see if we can so do that. We're going to try and do that. We'll not promise that we'll do it but we're going to try and do that yeah. now the magic kingdom is there anything else that you like to do when you're at the magic kingdom um i like to go to casey's for a hot dog i've never had a corn dog so i might try one of those this uh -huh. trip and um, i'll also go for spring rolls Oh yes, the cheeseburger spring rolls. Yeah, you watch that on Tim Tracker like all the time, yeah, don't yeah. you? I think I like that. Yeah, I think that's your two things: is a corn dog and um, the spring rolls. The spring rolls. I want to have um, one of the dough whip floats that they've got out just now as well. Yeah, and um, also there's things we haven't done, like the we haven't done like the Jungle Cruise. Yes, you heard never that done right. The Cruise, never done it. We have never done the Jungle Cruise. So we are very bad Disney vloggers. We are sorry that we have not ever done the Jungle Cruise. But to be fair, last time we were there during the day, Hurricane Irma was just about to come, yeah. so it might not have been open. I don't know. They were starting to close a lot of the stuff yeah. down and things like that. So yeah, to be fair, it is our own fault. We have no excuse. Um, we have just never done the but last year we went on the what's that we have a wee roller coaster? Oh, the Barnstormer. Yeah, we went. On oh, the it's, it's brilliant. Yeah, it's really, really good. Really good. Uh -huh. Yeah. So uh, things that I like to do, I like to stop in at the bakery yeah. or the confectionery and get myself a wee treat. I don't know. I'm not really a fan of hot dogs, oh. so what we quite often do is I'll get myself a wee treat. And I'll get you a hot get dog. your hot dog, and we'll sit like near the hub, and people watch. Yeah. Because there's nothing better. Might be a good place for the fireworks as well. It might be yes. Just to sit and people watch as well. We've never actually stayed for the fireworks at Magic Kingdom because we always. No, we have. Have we? Yes. Oh yeah, last time. We did last we year. Right time, but before that we didn't because we didn't. We because we stay in International Drive usually, so. It takes a while to get back and we've never had yeah, a car before. We've watched them so at TTC, we've watched them at California Grill. Oh, we have watched them at California Grill, that's right, I forgot about that. that well, there's, really there's, good there's lo the we've watched platform. them at quite a few different places, I have to say. Yeah. Um, so far, I would say my favourite to watch Happily Ever After at is um, at the California Grill. Yeah, also the most expensive of places. To also, watch. yes, the most expensive <laughs> of places um, to, to do. Um, but the views of the Magic Kingdom from California Grill, if you are able to afford it, is um, yeah. it's phenomenal. Yeah, it's a Absolutely. bit pricey, but it's this one's not a lifetime. It's sorry. Yeah, it is. It is fantastic. Um, yeah, we love going to the Magic Kingdom. To be fair, in Walt Disney World, Magic Kingdom isn't our favourite parks individually, whereas mine is the Animal Kingdom. Mine's Zepcot. And yours uh, your Zepcot. But jointly, it's one that we must yeah. we must go to and we absolutely love it. It's probably worth kind of... It's right up there anyway. It is. It's the first one I always go to. Yeah. I think it's just one of those kind of traditions as well, isn't it? Yeah. Like, we must always go to the Magic Kingdom, see the walk down Main Street, hear all the music, oh. see the castle. Well, you give it... When you get to the transportation centre, it's always the easiest one to get to. So. That's very true as well, huh? That is very true. Um, but we love it, don't we? Yeah, and also like the Hall of Presidents. You do. It's been it was closed quite a f because obviously of the guy yeah. that's in the room. Um it was closed for quite a while because obviously they were doing his anim animatronic. Yeah. Um but yeah, it should be back open now from what I know. 
and uh, yeah we are really really looking forward to our trip yeah this time because we're going to try and do lots of new things at the magic kingdom because there's loads of things we have never done yeah and there's loads of new things all the time as well that's exactly we're looking forward to seeing the tron construction yeah so that'll be exciting don't for the new we'll make code. it for tron i think it'll still be getting close no well no it'll still be getting built Oh, what? Mm -hmm, still be getting built. It's, we'll miss that by a wee bit. Um, but yeah, we are super well, excited. We'll next it. time. Next time. It's a good excuse to go back. Exactly. Yes. So that is just our wee vlog about the Magic Kingdom today. Yep. So thanks for watching and remember to like the vlog, subscribe to our channel, and have a notification bell so you know, you know when our next vlog is up mm -hmm. and you don't miss our, uh, our trips all our adventures. To Florida, yep. Uh, yeah, and if you want to see more of these where we talk about all the other different parts, we just picked the Magic Kingdom because that is probably one of the most popular parts for everybody and it's the one that we like to talk about. So we'll have but, coming up. So if you want us to do for Epcot, Hollywood Studios and for Animal Kingdom as well, let us know in the comments yeah. down below. Let and let we us know what one you want us to do as well. Yeah, exactly. And we will do that because we've actually had a lot of fun checking out all the facts and stuff like that, yeah. talking about our favourite rides, things like that. So thank you very much for watching guys and yeah. as Robert says, make sure to hit that red subscribe button down below and leave us a comment so we know that you stopped by. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Sun is coming up, are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow. Your will is my law, I'ma let you be the boss, cause I'll go where you go.